Hello everyone, welcome. This is uh, Marks here, and I'm, today I'm going to show you how to how you can possibly play this game in, with Japanese audio while having English subtitle. Uh, no, yeah, English subtitles and and English text, UI, you name it. Uh, and here we go. Um, I tried doing this last year during a. Uh, during the uh, Witch Queen expansion, but it kept crashing. But I'm hoping, uh, after looking at the files, that this will work. The first thing you're going to have to do is obviously update your Destiny 2 application to for the Lightfall. So after you do that, you're going to right-click, go to Properties, and we're going to go to local files and in browse. Now, here's where all the audio files are at in the packages folder. So you double click that. You're going to, on your search bar, type in underscore en underscore, oh, underscore search. And here we have all the audio files, all the English audio files. So you're just gonna select all of them, copy them, and we're gonna move this to a place. So I like to make a um, backup folders somewhere, anywhere. Uh, I make a folder just for the English files just en underscore en so we click that um, if you have any old files from like the previous game just delete it and just copy it over okay once that's done you can go back to your steam window and we're gonna switch it to Japanese Oh, actually, yep, there it is. It's updating. Okay. So now that the the game downloaded the Japanese uh, files, we're gonna have to actually close this, and we're gonna open up a new we're gonna open up a new um, file explorer for the files are at. So you go to packages, and then here's all your Jap Japanese files. So now in the search bar, type in underscore JPN underscore. And now we have all our Japanese files. So we click Control A, copy, and then just put this somewhere in a safe place. I like to put this. So this is the um, Japanese files uh, with the JPN uh, name. Uh, so now we're going to um, put this in your Japan folder, Japanese file. Oh, oops, wrong one. Sorry. Whoop. Go back. Go back. Go back. The Japanese files that haven't been altered yet. So we're gonna delete all these. This is from uh, Witch Queen. We have 85 audio files, which we're gonna delete. And here we go. So now that we made a backup of the Japanese files in Japanese we're gonna go back and we're actually gonna make another copy just probably out here this is your staging area so we're gonna paste it here and then uh, and now that that's done you're going to uh, rename, you're going to swap the JPN in the name t 
to en like this okay and you're going to do that for all the files but if there's like a hundred files if this gets to like a hundred files I don't think you want to sit through each individual file so what we're gonna do is you're gonna do a PowerShell command which is right here so you're gonna copy this um, text and I'll leave this in the description so you can copy it so I'm gonna copy go here and you're gonna hover your mouse just to the left of your files uh, right click oh no hold on I think it was control shift right click and you're gonna open PowerShell window here I think in Windows 11 it's called like I forgot what it was called but there's something similar to that anyway you're gonna wait for this to pop up uh, and now it's waiting for a command you're gonna paste the command and it's gonna replace your JPN with EN like so just ignore this red um, f uh, text because it tried to edit the folder oh wait a minute edit the um oh I tried to edit that whatever anyway let's see so now this is your Japanese audio files that have been uh, edited so that the text is EN instead of JPN. So we're gonna copy. Wait, why is it 32? Oh no, 25 items selected. Okay, copy. We're going to um, first put this in your other backup folder. So in case you weren't following along, I think uh, if I'm going too fast, I apologize. I'm trying to make this short so you could go into Lightfall as quickly as possible. Um, I made three backup file folders. One for English. One for Japanese. The raw Japanese files. And... Oh, actually, this one. This is for the raw Japanese files. And then this is the Japanese files with the EN extension at the end. Okay? And there we go. Next, you're going to close this. And actually, no, we don't close this. You go back to your packages folder. Uh, you want to replace all your EN files with your Japanese files that have been that has the en underscore with it so you're gonna search underscore en underscore control a uh, just select one and then control a delete it just pressing press the delete key on your keyboard or you can just delete here but I already deleted it so oh well and you click back and then we're gonna uh, paste. This will paste all your um, modified, not modified, uh, Japanese files that has the title with EN in it. And one final step before you launch the game, uh, click on this Destiny 2 um, folder and you want to find a, a file that's name is cache this is the cache file right here you want to delete that so just remove it to trash delete it and I think that's it if you don't delete that cache file the game will crash so you're gonna sit through the whole server queue and then you're gonna finally go in and then it's gonna crash and that's you don't want that so make sure that file is deleted uh, here's one last look at that fo at that uh, cache file so we're just going to delete it and there you go okay now the that's the end of the tutorial and I'm going to show you um, the reason why I think I hope this works is because all the English files is in the Japanese um, 
uh, audio files. Uh, let's let's take a closer look at the two uh, two folders here. So I'm gonna go to my documents, go to Destiny Two. Um, audio files. So we're gonna open this, and we're gonna open. Oops, this. Oops. I open this one. Oh, where'd it go? Oops. I open a new folder. Uh. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing now. Okay. So if we go here, put them side by side. Um, we're gonna compare this. This, this is the Japanese files, and to the right is the English files. So if we click, so see we have this here, and we have this here, and we have this here. We have this, this is the same as that, that's the same as that, and so on. And if you look, I mean if you, and if you look at all these files, we have the same exact numbering system. Let's see, see the 2A4. Uh, EN1, 29A EN0, it's right here, 2NA JPN0, which is the same. Uh, the only extra file we have is, uh, if I could find it, I think it's, I think it's one of these here. Whoa, here, no? Oh, here, 190JPN underscore 1 which does not exist in English. But that doesn't matter, because all the game is looking for is all this, all these files has to show up. It doesn't matter if it's English, it doesn't matter if it's in Japanese with the EN, this is, this is what it's looking for. Now, if it was, uh, say, if this was over here, like this, Let's just say this was EN, but it didn't exist here, then the game would crash. So if it was like this. Oops. Oh. Hold on. Oops. Wrong one. Wrong one. Sorry. Let's go back. It was this one. Yeah, I think it was this one. Yeah, if it was like this, see now, this 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 file does not actually exist, by the way, in English. But let's say if it did, and it's not here, then the game would crash. So I'm just gonna move this back and name it to JPN. I hope this works. If you find that this actually does work, um. Uh, as in, uh, it might not work in a cutscene, in a in a a pre-rendered cutscene with like with like a movie, but it should work in real-time cutscenes. It should work in the tower uh, if you're going into a strike, in a raid. If you find that this video works, please come back and make a comment to see if this work. Uh, confirm if it works, if it doesn't work, um, if you're running an Intel or an AMD, because that actually does matter. I think it works with Intel. I'm not really sure about AMD CPUs. Because I had, we had an issue earlier on, I, on my laptop, like, wait, why does this not work on my laptop, but it works on the, my desktop? Well, my, in, my desktop is Intel, my laptop is AMD. Anyway, I hope that you find this useful. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully. I'll be live streaming this game, so. Have a nice night!